Hey everyone, the Stella Kerling here, one of your favorite home and hobby distillers. Well, I hope I am still one of your favorite home and hobby distillers. Yes, I'm back again with a distiller Kerling extra, and I want to tell you guys why I have been so quiet these past few weeks. Yes, Facebook has been very quiet, and even my YouTube videos, I've been posted very rarely or very rarely have uploaded new videos. So I want to give you guys some background and then tell you what is going on currently in our lives. So if you haven't checked out one of my first videos that I made about who I am and how I started distilling, definitely go check it out. But just to give you guys some background, we are staying in Gauteng here in the middle of South Africa and we want to move down all the way to Western Cape. Yes, it's much nicer there and there's some family, but there's also still family in Gauteng but we definitely, our hearts are there in Western Cape, so we want to move down there. So we were looking at ideas and I started looking for my current work that I am, or my industry that I am in, and then COVID happened and then a lot of other stuff as well happened. And then we had a crazy idea of opening up a craft distillery and open it up in Western Cape and then move everything down to Western Cape and then start that lovely distillery and that will be our basic income, our security, our way of life there in the Western Cape. All right, but then a few other things has happened. This past year was quite a very interesting year for us. We had a very, oh, let, let me put it, let, let me rewind it back. Okay, so for the craft distillery, we had a crazy idea of taking my current pension that I have I've been working 16 years for my current company and pushing it into the distillery, the equipment, the area, the building, whatever it's going to be, and then build up the distillery, make it successful, and then by the time we feel like we're having a good income now, then go back to being more or less normal of getting a medical aid, getting a pension, and then make sure that our all the day that we have sufficient the nest egg or emergency fund that will carry us till we decide to pass away one day. So with that being said, a little over a year ago we had a very major medical emergency. Um, my wife was for two weeks in ICU and 375,000 rands later the medical aid covered it and she was back home. And it changed our perspective quite a lot. You realize how important medical aid is and to have a good health care as well. So with that being said, we, there were some tough decisions we had to make. One of them was especially the whole quitting my job, taking a pension, having no medical aid or pension and building up the craft distillery while we still need to make sure that she is okay. You know, even myself that, you know, we are okay. Medical, we are fit and if something does happen that we do have the necessary funds to deal with that. And it ended up being that let me rather focus again on job security. So I started applying for positions in my current industry from moving from Gauteng all the way to Western Cape and looking through a few applications again. I say a few applications, it was more than 200 applications four first line interviews, numerous emails, one assignment and one secondary interview. And I had a job offer and I accepted it and we are moving down to Western Cape. But where does it leave you guys, the YouTube channel as well as the Facebook page? That's now where it's a bit tricky. And yet again, we sat and there were some tough decisions that we had to make. And I was not ready to share with you guys because me, myself, I wasn't entirely sure what's going to happen, but we made a decision and for now we are going to stick to it. So what is there for the Stille Grehling next? Or what's left for the Stille Grehling, if I can call it like that? I am definitely not going to have as much free time as I'm currently having. I'm working shifts, so I'm working four days on, four days off, and then five days on and five days off. And even during night shifts during the day, I've got a lot of free time to do a bit of distilling, do a video or two. With my new job, I'm moving into a normal nine to five, Monday to Friday job. So it means that I will only really have the weekends to focus on distilling. 
and with that being said I want to focus more on my family currently than the sitting so that part of the weekend will also be reserved more for family so it means that the stilling cut is getting much smaller and much smaller we also definitely decided not to pursue the craft distillery anymore as I'm starting a new job giving me job security and if it really goes well and we believe it will I will stay there and build up my career again for the next 16 years so I'm not planning on leaving the new job I'm having in five years time just to pursue a craft distillery it would be nice but seeing how things changed over these years yeah job security now is much more important to make sure we have got that healthcare than just playing around with healthcare and trying to have a bit of fun with the craft distillery so it's, it wasn't a, like a very easy decision to make so it, it, it's a lot of things that you have to weigh upon and make decisions what it means for you guys and the distillery uh, the still channel is I definitely want to do one or two more videos and then I'm gonna pack up everything for now I'm gonna focus on the new job I mean it's I'm brand new I'm stepping into a good position and I have to prove myself there as well so I have to focus on the new job for at least three to six months and make sure that I show them my worth and they can understand that I'm just not the guy playing around and I'm really serious about the job and that I want to make it successful I'm very self-motivated and process driven so I definitely want to excel in, in my new position as well and if there's a excellent career path I want to pursue that as well so the stilling is definitely going to step down quite a lot I am unfortunately as well going to sell some of my equipment I'm not going to take everything with especially the 100 liter still I will be selling that as well but like I said I want to do one more video with that guy before I'm letting it go so for the South African viewers out there definitely keep an eye on the Facebook page I will start to list some of the items that I want to sell have a look there I will also look at some of the marketplaces that surround you in South Africa and also start to post the equipment yes it's sad it's it's not let's say we are very excited and very gra grateful and and there's a lot of gratitude that goes into for us West, moving to Western Cape because that was our aim that was the goal we never had a goal of opening a craft distillery just for the heck of it the craft distillery was our vehicle to move down to Western Cape so with now me having a more job security and solid job that's what we're aiming for and that's what we're happy with so yes I am probably going to fall into the normal nine to five working class but that's okay for us that will give me job security it will give us proper and and, and more constant health care and medical aid and that's what we pursue and at the end of the day it's I've always been about what you want what's whether it's the stilling or you are aging your spirits it's this is how I do it but it's always your preference and this currently is our preference we want to move down and this is the vehicle that we're going to use now that job security and having a good health cover so that being said you will definitely be seeing a lot less of me on a YouTube channel I am definitely going to keep it open I think there's some valuable videos and even if someone over a year from now stumbles across my channel there's some still valuable information that they can use I don't just want to cut it and delete all the videos and close the channel completely so and most probably if I'm walking around in Western Cape and I see something interesting I might always every now and again pop up a video and say hey we were at this distillery this is what I have and I'm definitely going to keep my 13 liter still so if I'm having a bit of an off day or, or a vacation leave or something and I want to distill I can always put that on the channel as well and show you guys what am I busy with and how it looks where I'm currently staying so that being said I hope you guys have enjoyed my channel I appreciate all the comments I've learned so much from you guys from this distilling community when when I started I came in thinking that yes I want to teach you guys because I've got that that passion for people to you know if I learn something I want to express it and tell you guys yes this is what I learned this is how it is this is how easy it is and you guys can do it as well and starting in this community and just getting questions and actually myself have to research some of the answers because I don't know everything 
I really just saw how how supportive this whole this thing community is and I say I'm very grateful I'm very appreciative for that and you guys must keep on doing it you mustn't stop just because I'm stopping at this moment no definitely go on and continue with whatever you guys are doing it's it's a very passionate hobby if you really get into it just to see how everybody works together and really supports one another so as always remember guys you have to be awesome and be kind and be yourself until i see you guys again cheers